What is the cause of anthropod bite hypersensitivity reaction and how to avoid the dark spots after? Super question, because it's really very common. Um, the, when the mosquito, for instance, because it's the most common, but you can also get bites from fleas. What's an anthropod? Arthropod are bugs. There you go. Insects. Fancy, fancy way of saying yeah. it. <laughs> so whether it's a mosquito, a flea bite, or a bite dust from... Dust mites? No, dust mites is because of their poop. Yeah, dust, dust mites is not so much the dust the... mite actually mm -hmm. biting. Uh, oh, bed bugs, which there can you go. occur. Okay. They can bite, yeah. When they bite, they actually send their proboscis, you know, the little bit of a antenna from here, into your skin. So it's not just on the surface, it goes into the second like layer a, of Like skin, a mini injection. Which right? is the reason why you will then get a red little papule with a center, yeah. you know, which signifies where the proboscis had gone through. Okay? And uh, then, because it had gone through, penetrated into the second layer of their skin, mm. where there are blood vessels, the vessels react, there's an inflammation around it, and so you get this little red spot of an insect bite or an arthropod bite. Now, then, because there's inflammation, if you do have a bit of brown added to your skin, you know, whether you're very, very light brown to very dark brown, that element of brown makes you more prone to development of what we call a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. In other words, your melanocytes are a little bit more active, and yeah. so they will produce that. And secondly, so that's on the top layer, on the um, epidermis, and, but on the next layer where the inflammation was, there may be red blood cells that leaked out of the inflamed blood vessels, and those red cells will be able to leak out into the surrounding uh, dermis, is what it's called, and leave hemosiderin or iron pigment. So the combination of the... Hemosiderin or iron pigment, interesting. Yeah, coming okay. from the red cells. Okay. Because the red cells made of hemoglobin, right? Yeah. So the hemoglobin, will, will uh, the red cell will break down because it's already out of the blood vessel, leave the hemosiderin, the iron, and so you now have a darkening of the skin, which is not just epidermis. So it's not just the derma. melanin. Mm -mm. Ah, new to mm. me. Yeah, okay. A little bit. So okay. there. And so therefore, that's why you, they last forever, right? Those bug bites. Those dark spots. Because it's a yeah. combination of those. But so the cause of that hypersensitivity reaction, is not, it's not a, is it an IgE media? Is this an allergic reaction? It's an allergic to an reaction. insect bite. It's a real so allergic reaction. it's an IgE reaction. Yes. mediated. No. The T cell mediated. Ah, so it's a skin reaction. Right. Okay. So it's not like a food reaction or a no. pollen reaction. Yeah. If you are hypersensitive to arthropod bites, then that is a skin hypersensitivity, a skin al allergy Correct. to those bug bites. Right. 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 And then the hyperpigmentation that happens after is both a post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, but also this iron... That's part of the post-inflammatory. I didn't know about that. Remember what I told you. With the inflammation in the dermis and the blood vessels may burst, may. Then what happens is that the red cell goes out and the uh, hemosiderin goes. And that's all part of the post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Fascinating.